Rick B's Daily Vlogs. The last week here at China Basin. And today looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. over there where it says pay here to pay for parking it's $13 all day so in order to park in one of these slots or stalls you need one of these and this is good till six o'clock tonight unless there's a Giants game which there isn't and I parked all the way over there welcome everyone it's my daily vlog channel Eric B's daily vlogs yes China Basin it's gonna be it's gonna be fun last last week here my co-worker comes back from her long her long vacation I'm glad she's having fun though, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun this week. I'm gonna make it fun. And it's cold. And see my head? No hair. It's cold. But time to get to work. So these bright orange jump bikes are the new ways of San Francisco. You rent them out. There's the instructions right there. Two dollars for every 30 minutes. You just leave them wherever you want. And I guess you pay right here. It's a competition for those Ford bikes they have in the city. But I'm walking this direction, towards the park. I told you guys in previous vlog that there's this area back here that I want you guys to check out. So we're headed that way. Okay, I promise today I'm not gonna talk about the Third Street Bridge. We'll keep the Third Street Bridge right over there, but I'm going this direction, towards the back, the back of the park. I'll show you guys when I get there. So coming along the McCovey Cove side of at t Park, this is right there, the candlestick placard that I showed you guys the last time. Still there, dedication still there, but what I wanna show you guys is all along this, I don't know if you call it a sidewalk, a strip, but it's all along here, so we're gonna walk up there and I'm gonna show you what it is. See right up there you got the right field flagpole. And whenever they hit the home run, bam, right in here, right into McCovey Cove. Every time there's a Giants game, you see the kayakers. They're always right in this area right here, trying to get the foul ball or wait for the foul ball. Man, but look at that view of the East Bay right over there. It's kind of like a priceless view, if I can say that. This past Saturday, they had Giants Fan Fest over here, and the line you entered over at that Willie Mays gate over there, and the line came all the way back this way. Came, came this far back. Fan Fest was free, so everybody came to check out the new Giants. But this, is what I wanted to show you guys. Something that, if you're from this area, you see a lot. If you're not, you don't know it's here. So the first one, 
this is a sidewalk dedication. My shadow's in the way, can't get out of the way, but this is a sidewalk dedication and grand opening, or opening day, April 11th, 2000. And if you see the name, it says Pacific Belt Park. So that's when it opened, was 2000 of April 11th, Pacific Belt Park. Then right here next to it, they have some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff for the Giants. I'm standing, trying to stand away because of the shadow, but this one, this is the 14th strikeout day on October 7th, 2000. Tim Lincecum versus the Atlanta Braves struck out 14 people. And the rumor is Tim Lincecum is, is showcasing for the Giants. Then the next one over here, this is the World Series champ. This is a little honor to them for World Series 2010. And the 2000 division champs, everybody remembers the 2000 champs. Division champs lost to Anaheim. Then all these things, pretty cool. You don't really know it's here. Let's just see this one right here. This is Matt Cain's no hitter, perfect game. Perfect game, not just no hitter, perfect game. June 13th, 2012 against the Astros. Struck out 14, tied the records, the most perfect games. Mad game, pretty cool. So along this whole thing right here, they have a whole bunch. So if you're ever in this area of the park, check this out. Check this out, this place right here is cool. Pablo Sandoval. Three home runs in a World Series, October 24th, 2012, right here in AT&T Park versus the Tigers. Everything's here. They have in the cement, 2012 um, World Series trophy. Pretty cool. This one right there, this is Tim Lincecum's second no-hitter. June 25th, 2014 against the Padres. 15th, 16th no-hitter in the franchise history. Eight no-hitter in San Francisco Giants history. His second no-hitter. Pretty cool. So yeah, all along this McCovey Cove sign, they have a bunch of little tributes to the Giants. What well, they did, this one right here. Barry Bonds is number 715, May 28, 2006. So they have a bunch of tributes to the Giants. Take your time, check it out. When you get to the game, your seats will always be there. Make opening pitch. Check these little things out. And it looks like they're doing something right now. They have a special event, but this is the right this is the right field wall. They got the little beer garden right over there. Pretty cool. I'm gonna definitely make a game this year. Another homage to Candlestick Park. You have four orange chairs right there that came from the stick. This dog right here won't stop barking. But the four chairs right there, just right along center field. If you go past center field, go towards center field, you'll see those four orange chairs. There's a little dedication up there as well. Straight from Candlestick Park. You have center field wall. That's the big jumbotron right back here. And this is the back entrance and the famous the famous seal Lucille hanging out holding his little little Giants ball right this way you got a nice view of the Bay Bridge right over here I can only see three of the towers the fourth tower is way over there way over there all these boats are covering the fourth tower but this is a nice view a lot of people use this path they run during lunch I'm, I'm gonna get back into the whole running thing trust me just not today but check this out if I pan this way you can see a piece of the glove and the tip of the coca-cola bottle pretty sweet over there in the distance where you see those big tall cranes that's gonna be Chase Chase Arena the future home of the Golden State Warriors. Right here, China Basin location, but over there, that's the Mission Bay location. So this place right here is already, it's already tight the way it is with all these new buildings coming up. 
So hopefully, hopefully, it's gonna be a positive thing when they move over there, hopefully. Look at that backdrop. Isn't that a cool backdrop? You got the, the East Bay right behind me, right behind me, right over here. And over there, you got more of the East Bay, like Hayward, Oakland, you probably on a nice clear sky night, night, night sky. You can probably see the Oakland Arena when the A's are playing. Then right over here, you got AT&T Park. So you can see each other, but you know, Oakland's moving. We're not sure where they're moving to yet, but you know, it's kind of kind of cool how you can see both parks. But yes, it is a beautiful day here. Beautiful day, China Basin, AT&T Park. I told you guys I was gonna come over here and get more shots. I wanna know, what the heck's that big ship right there? What is that big ship? I know it's not the Jeremiah O'Brien because that's down that direction, I believe. So I'm not even sure what that is. I'm gonna have to do some investigation or investigating and find out what that is, but not sure what that is. If you guys know, let me know. Comment down below. But yes, it's a beautiful area here today. Beautiful area. This spot is nice. This spot is cool. If you guys are not from here, you guys definitely gotta come visit. Come visit. Don't come here just to watch a Giants game and then fifth inning leave because traffic is bad. Come here, explore this part of town, explore this part of the city. I'm from the city. There's certain things here that I'm finding out that I never knew was here. So explore the city. When you're here, explore. Don't come here just to go eat because everyone else is eating at a certain restaurant. Check out the area, take, take some time. We, we're gonna go check out parts of Chinatown. They're having this Lunar Fest coming up at the end of the month. We're gonna go over there and go check that area out. That's one area that I'm familiar with, but not too familiar with. So we're gonna go check that area out once that, that comes up. So we'll see how that is. But today it's just walking around, getting stuff, getting stuff documented for this vlog. That's what I'm doing today. This right here, this is a long fishing pier and you can go towards the end and get some fish or catch some fish. I'm not sure how far you can go, probably just to the very end and see, pretty much try to catch what you can catch. This right here, this is the dock where the ferries come when there is a Giants game. When the ferries come, this is the dock, they dock right there. You walk up this plank to go to watch the game. Those are people coming from the East Bay, from, now I guess you can come here from the South Bay, but I'm not sure you'd want to coming, taking a ferry. But again, what is that? I see that. Not sure what it is. It's humongous. From here is humongous. So it's probably massive when I get over there. I'm gonna have to check and see what that is. One day I will, not today. But check out the view of the East Bay. I can actually, with my own eyes right now, if you look dead center, you can see Alameda, you can see the old Alameda Naval Base right over there, dead center. Just look straight ahead. You can see it. All of the East Bay. Like I said, Hayward, you can see probably as far as San Leandro. If I go more towards that direction, you can probably see Fremont. It's how nice today is. And if you look straight ahead, right over there, right above the head or where that lady's sitting on the bench, right above her head, you can see that the temple the, that's always lit up at night. I think it's a Buddha temple. I'm not sure, uh, I've, I've seen it at night, not really sure what it is, but you can see it right over there. Breathtaking, this view. Something you don't notice when you're at the park, they got a little restaurant up here. It's called Triple's Alley. Triple's Alley. The restaurant up there, I think it's just for, I wanna say the VIPs, the ones who are here on, you know, high-end Thai people. So, restaurant right up there. I'm not sure what type of food they serve, but it's right here, right above. This is center field. Looks like they're getting ready for a private event in there. They got a bunch of people going in and out. They got a big tent set up in center field and they got all these white boxes that they're probably gonna give away for free. Not sure what's going on, but it's happening. This right here, this is standing room only. So during games, they have this area open and people can stand there and watch. You watch for free, but there is rules. And this is the rules right there. 
maximum of 24 viewers. Guests will be asked to leave or vacate after third, sixth, and ninth inning. So you only can stay there for a few. So if you're ever here, right field wall, this area is free, like I said. Look at that tent. Not sure what they're building up in there. But it's pretty big. I think that's a funny sign right there. Speed limit, five knots. Just because they're on the cove. So if you're a boater, you gotta look over there. You see the speed limit, five knots. Maybe from this side of you, you guys can get a perspective of how, I'm gonna say it, massive a third tree bridge is. It's a nice, it's a nice looking piece of structure. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm so fascinated by it, but it's, I just am. Not sure why. Just look at it. Look at it. Stare at it. Okay, that's enough. All right, this time I'm standing right under it. Well, not right under it. Now I'm right under it. And look, look how big that is. And the other one is right over there. And that one's, that one's wider, but just imagine. I don't want to imagine, but just imagine this whole piece of concrete falling right on you. I don't want to imagine, like I said, but look at that. That is huge. And I got a perfect sign right here. When the bridge is going down, right there, right there. What does it say? Keep clear. Only because when that thing comes down, it's coming down. Scary. Now this is one thing I don't miss here in China Basin. Look at this traffic. There's not even a game. What's going on here? There's no game. You got this traffic. And this is the direction I need to head home. Well there's the reason for the traffic. Not the train. But on the other side, on the far left lane, you got that truck, delivery truck, blocking that left-hand lane. So that's the reason why there's traffic. All right, guys. Again, with the beautiful AT&T as a backdrop. AT&T Park, probably one of the best parks in the major leagues. Pretty to look at and a sight, it's a sight to see. So, but that's it, I'm done. Some things I gotta take care of before I get home, I guess before I get home. But that's it from China Basin. I got one more day here and then we'll see what the future holds. For you who knows what I'm talking about, you understand what I'm saying. We'll see what the future holds. Beautiful backdrop, beautiful day. Sun again is hitting me in, in the face. Thank God I shaved my head. Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. Got a metal garbage can, plastic garbage can, another metal garbage can. But this one right here, I wonder who makes this. I made this.